Hello everyone, I'm Bart Barker with Wilson County Schools and here is Kevin Dawson. He is principal of the new Green Hill High School and it is brand new. It's right behind us and yeah. Kevin, you have to be so excited about this school as we get ready to take folks in. A little sneak peek inside about what uh, the building does look inside, but how excited are you about this? I'm so excited. I'm ready to get my <laughs> teachers and my students in here with us so that we can start this off. I'm glad to be out of Dawson's <laughs> Den and finally here at Green Hill High School. It was so a that, very popular show, let me tell it, you. It was. I know. Sorry it got canceled. <laughs> <laughs> That's tragic. Maybe we can bring it back, you know. Um, you know, we're standing at the front entrance. Mm -hmm. The front entrance faces North Green Hill Road. Mm -hmm. uh, I say that specifically because a lot of people think the front entrance is the one that faces Mount Juliet Road. Um, but that one that faces Mount Juliet Road is actually the student entrance that goes into the commons. Um, but yeah, you know, we're out here. We're getting a sneak peek. We're mm -hmm. getting some... We're, we're getting people inside the building virtually um, as we have to right now. Sure. But it's very excited and I can't wait for Monday the 17th to bring students in this building, be able to finally greet them, see who they are, mm -hmm. let them see who I am, and start new traditions at Green Hill High School. Well, let's go take a look. What do you say? Absolutely. Come on, let's go. Okay, we have entered the main office entryway here. Uh, you know, this does look like a lot of other school buildings for sure. This is brand new, of course. Uh, I know you're very proud of that. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, this is, parents that are familiar with Mount Juliet High School, mm -hmm. this looks exactly the same to what they're used to when they enter the building. The only difference is the gateway to enter the office areas is mm -hmm. on the opposite side. But other than that, when people enter, um, you know, they'll see our receptionist mm -hmm. smiling face right. and probably have a few students up here helping out and mm -hmm. working and greeting people and welcoming them to Green Hill High School. Now, I hear that you're going to be serving. Are you, will you personally be serving complimentary coffee and stuff like that? Uh, Pressed and poured myself. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Sounds good. Let's go. Uh, let's go check out this. Your pad. <laughs> My pad. Okay. <laughs> this is where students don't want to end up. <laughs> Oh if, man. If you're coming here, hopefully you're called for a good purpose. You know, we're giving out some awards or something like that. Um, you know, some celebrations of the great things that we know our students are going to do here at Green mm -hmm. Hill High School. Mm -hmm. That's when I expect people to have to journey down this hallway and come for a visit in the principal's office for sure. Now we're in the land of the home of the uh, Hungry Hawks. We've entered the uh, cafeteria. And uh, Kevin, this is beautiful. We'll get you a close-up shot of this yes. in just a second, but uh, looks like a state, obviously it is a state-of-the-art uh, cafeteria. Yeah, we're gonna have six serving lines coming through here. And um, <laughs> th what the students will see on the first day is there's some really unique, some flexible seating there. We've got booths, we've got some taller um, seating areas, some more elevated things. Mm -hmm. So just something unique that's a little bit different than the, the round tables with the little round seats. Um, just to make the, the area more welcoming and a similar format to the library like we talked about. It's like a little cafe. It is. It, is. <laughs> I, I, it has a very restaurant It's a very cafe-ish feel. feel to it. Yes, absolutely. Well, good. Let's get some close-up shots. Uh, we won't go beyond uh, the cage there, but uh, just give you a look at the serving lines. Come on, let's go. Pretty good looking kitchen you got here, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've got enough serving lines and seating to feed 500 students in a, in a setting. So mm -hmm. um, it's beautiful. It's nice when it's it's this pristine, untouched um, mm -hmm. service area right now. But I know our students are going to be excited, feel welcomed, and um, you know, ready to, to have a little bit of downtime, relax, eat their food between their classes during the school day. Looks great. All right, now we've entered the portion of the building with classrooms involving science classes. And uh, Kevin, just take it away. What what are we looking at here? So the difference in this classroom is you've got the demonstration area for the science instructor, mm -hmm. um, but the same layout with student furniture and then the display over to the side that the teacher can use for lecture purposes. One of the other differences is you'll see this door and it's a connector that goes into the adjoining lab. So the students, the teacher can teach the instruction, can lecture from there, can do demonstrations, and then can bring the students over to this area and the students can do the lab experiments and the demonstrations themselves to get the hands-on aspect of the learning. I'm no lab expert, but this looks fantastic. This, this looks, looks lab-tastic right here. It is fantastic. <laughs> this, we're on the third floor right now, and all the way down this hallway are science labs with the adjoining rooms. So we've got, we have a lot of space for our students. This, one, this particular room that we're in, we've allocated for the Mount Juliet Middle School students mm -hmm. and their teachers to be able to utilize 
so that they've got space for that purpose as well for their science classes. So now we've entered the library area. Kevin, this is fantastic. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful space. We're really excited. Um, you know, we, we designed it a little bit differently than a traditional library mm -hmm. that's got all the tables and chairs. We really wanted it to be a space where the students could come mm -hmm. and have a little bit of a relaxed seating position so that they can study, they could do research, and they could really focus on the, on the task at hand. It's definitely going to be used by our dual enrollment students in Collegiate Academy mm -hmm. the first year um, since we're, we're also hosting the middle school students. Mm -hmm. So it's a place where, where we've, we've designed with intentionality for our students. It's a beautiful library, a place that uh, I wish I, I wish my high school library looked like this. I probably Absolutely. would have spent more time in it. It's probably where I needed to be. But uh, <laughs> this is quite a tool to, uh, to, for our students to have in this, in this school for sure. So, Kevin, this is what a, a pretty much a standard hallway looks like. Uh, they all, a lot of them look the, the same for sure, but uh, we see an incredible look at the, the Hawks painting at the end of the hallway there. But uh, this is what these fresh new hallways basically look like, correct? <laughs> Absolutely. And as you'll notice, there's no lockers in the hallway, so there's a lot of space for our students to be able to navigate mm -hmm. and work out. Um, but all the hallways are standard. This is actually the south wing, mm -hmm. the C100 hallway. Um, it's a mirror image on the other end, and that's where we'll have our Mount Juliet Middle School students. Mm -hmm. So on this side, it's the Green Hill High School hallway. You go through these doors, stairwell, another set of doors, and the Mount Juliet Middle School students will run into and see the same thing mm -hmm. as they're navigating to and from their classes. Oh man, <laughs> this is nice. So, Kevin, this is your standard type classroom that uh, is very common throughout the building. Is that correct? Absolutely. So this is a standard classroom. We've got 92 of these throughout the building. Mm -hmm. um, teacher's desk, student's desk. As you'll notice in the front, on the front wall, we have the whiteboards that you see traditionally, but we've also got this display. Mm -hmm. And we've equipped them with a webcam and a microphone because, as we know, there's going to be some, some remote opportunities or some virtual opportunities for our students. And we wanted our teachers to be equipped to be able to, to convey the information out to students even when they weren't able to be physically in the classroom. So they can utilize this as a presentation piece and they can also present to students that are not in the room from there. That's great. Okay, so uh, what are you up to here, Kevin? What, what is this? What, you're behind? Are you about to sell me something? Absolutely. <laughs> Welcome to marketing class. Okay. So we're in the main hallway just beyond the first stairwell and this is our marketing class with windows designed for our students to be able to sell and distribute items to the student body. Um, you know, I know that after the first year when we begin um, purchasing parking passes, they're going to be free the first year. Congratulations. Juniors and seniors as well, 10th grade drivers as well. Um, but after that, this is where you'll get your parking passes. Um, you know, our vision here is that our students design things to sell to the student body and look at how they market and how they can change those and diagnostics that come from that. Um, it's a beautiful room. I'm really excited about having this mm -hmm. and having it so accessible to our students. Um, so it's just an, another cool feature at Green Hill High School. Just these little entrepreneurs just getting ready to get their side hustle on, right? Absolutely. I mean, speak, how do I get my hands on one of those masks right there, those Green Hill masks? No, you gotta start with the fancy stuff. <laughs> Looks great. Okay, we're at center court here for the brand new gym. It is beautiful that it just has that, again, that new smell. Yes. <sighs> it never gets old, but uh, I know you did. You're you're very proud of this gym. It is it is gorgeous yes. in here, absolutely. I, I can't wait to get in here and watch some games mm -hmm. to see our students sitting in the student section, proud of their school, proud mm -hmm. of their student body, um, and representing. Uh, it's such a, a great space. They've done a they've done a wonderful job of just putting little pieces of um, detail in it. Those touches, those those unique touches to absolutely. to the school and to the gym itself. I've noticed that too. Um, so it is something to be very, very proud of. Uh, but again, it, it, uh, it is one of the, if you look at gyms in comparison, I mean, there's, it's, uh, it's amazing. It really is. Yes. Yeah. There's tons of seating. There's tons of space. It, it's got a similar um, or, or the same layout to Lebanon High School mm -hmm. and Mount Juliet High School where we get our students facing each other from opposing ends of the, of the floor. So we can have a lot of fun with that. And I really hope to see um, a lot of school spirit shared um, and conveyed from our student body and representing and cheering for our basketball teams that are competing in here. Sounds good. 
Okay, Kevin, thank you so much for the tour today. I really appreciate it. I know a lot of you appreciate that as well. Uh, stay tuned because next week, I'm gonna have some more video inside the school as we kind of dive deeper into the school and uh, kind of get more thoughts from you as well. Today, we just wanna do a sneak peek version so you can get a look inside this amazing school. As we close things out though, uh, Kevin, any closing thoughts? You know, I, I just appreciate everyone that's been involved in this project and getting it set up. Um, like I said, I'm excited for the staff and the students to be able to come and get this this first school year started out. Um, like you said, Bart, we'll have more video mm -hmm. with a little bit more on the inside, and we'll do some driving around the parking lot and getting everybody uh, used to, to how they're going to navigate the traffic part on as well. That's right. Uh, again, you know the parking process. We know it's going to the questions will evolve, uh, develop involving that, but we'll get that information out there and show you what that looks like as well. So that will be coming very, very soon as well. But again, we are ready to go. If school started today, we'd be ready. We'd be ready for the students on August 3rd. Um, you know, we're just gonna clean it up a little more and make it a little bit shinier just for when they that, come in. Put that polish, that un unanticipated two weeks to kind of add those finishing touches, right? <laughs> Definitely. All right, thank you so much. I'm Bart Barker from Wilson County Schools. This is Kevin Dawson, principal of Green Hill High School. Have a wonderful day, folks.